What up guys and welcome back to Heavy and Modified Season 3. Hope you guys had a great 2018 and I hope you have even better 2019. Man, it feels good, it feels different having the camera back on me, but I'm super, super happy. First off, happy Friday. So, today we have a lot of stuff planned, but I wanna do a little talking before we go do all that. As you can see, we have the Camaro still sitting here. Still the same wrap over to in Tokyo. We're gonna be taking it off soon. Uh, we have a lot of stuff planned for this car. We're gonna head over to Premium, where they're going to like, Daniel's just really gonna dig in and like kind of expose my true feeling of like, you know, how I, what I went through and, and, and why I left Premium and didn't tell anyone anything. And there's just a lot of stuff we're gonna talk, talk about. I feel this will be the best start off to season three. All right, hope you guys are ready. You know, getting back on this camera after everything that happened and, you know, taking, I guess, a hiatus, a break, or just, you know, me time and family time. I gotta say, I really enjoy having this camera. Like, I'm super stoked right now. Like, 100% happy and just, you know, finally feel like I'm ready. Um, something I didn't touch bases on in the beginning of this video, uh, like the intro, I guess you could say, is that I did start to post again. I thought I was ready to get behind the camera, go out and do car stuff and just have a great time and doing and doing what I love, filming and working on cars and driving cars. Um, I, I wasn't ready, I tried it and I just wasn't ready. And the one thing, or the reason why I started this YouTube channel is to obviously show people, you, one, you don't have to be rich to have a race car, or you don't have to drive a certain type of car, whatever car you enjoy to drive, whatever car you enjoy working on, that's the best car for you. But also at the same time, I got on here to like entertain people, to make them laugh, to make them, you know, happy, to just, you know, put some type of emotion, but not to be sad. And I think if I would have started filming back a couple weeks ago when I start, when I posted like those couple of vlogs and I said I was back to posting, I don't think they would have been good because if I have a bad day, I want to go watch someone have like a good day or a great day or, or laugh or something like that. I don't want to come over here and have a bad day and then watch someone's video and then be sad. Like that's not what I want to do, but now it feels natural again. Like. I am noticing that I am like mumbling a little bit and I apologize for that. I'm getting back into holding the camera and being used to being a vlogger or a content creator actually, not a vlogger, content creator. Um, so it is a little different, but I gotta say I do feel I'm ready to be back, I'm excited. This, um, for, episode, for season three of Heavy and Modified, I definitely didn't plan on just doing this. I was actually gonna go to Irwindale last night, but I'm just getting over being sick and I couldn't really make it. But I think this is more of a packable video of me just talking about what was, what happened and stuff like that and talking with premium. Oh, by the way, too, my godson is here. They dropped him off. We're spending the day and hopefully later we go in the hobby shop, which brings something else. Something that was actually pretty popular on this channel when I would go sometimes is going to the RC track. I am bringing that back to this channel. We will be going to the RC track on the 18th. I have a race, actually. I'll be racing my A-scale Truggy and Buggy. I don't know if you guys even remember Arlo, but look how big this guy is now. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. He's two years old now, guys. Two years old. All right, so I really hope Premium has a battery right now for the A7S Mark II, which I'm not sure if I told you guys, we're on a new camera. I got the Sony A7S Mark II, and I love it. Let me just say, I love this camera way better than the Canon. If you guys notice, comment down below. Let me know about the quality. Also, too, these vlogs will be color corrected. We're just, you know, we're stepping up for season three. Let's get inside, say what's up, and hopefully have a battery because this thing's about to die. I don't know if I brought any other batteries. Bro, what the fuck are you doing here? Yo. You're not welcome here anymore. No, no, you're not welcome Put here. Put the camera down, bro. Wait. You don't work here anymore. What? You're I don't, not fucking welcome I don't, here. Whoa. What are you doing? Well, I don't work here anymore? Yeah, bullshit, bro. Wow. All this oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, look what you did. <laughs> John number call two. me John. John number two. Say it. Say it. Say it. Oh, Uncle Daniel. Say it. All right, what up, stud? What What's up? up? Sexy, what up? What up? What up? I already said hi to everyone, but my battery died, so. I'm gonna work on super. Oh! Oh, he hit me! Oh! I never liked you. <laughs> what what up, Wayne? You just punched me, bro. Oh, Look yeah. at Johnny, too. Damn! Oh, but he's electronic, though. Look at You're a baller. Africa, Africa, bro. Like a, look, it, if you guys don't know, this uh, R21 right here. R21. <laughs> this R33 is so sick. It's right hand drive. That means I'll be sitting right here. We'll go to car shows. Can we drive it over there? And then look at the engine bay. Well, the rims, too. The rims come with it, though, right? The rims are on there. I took them off, powder coated them. I put new rotors and powder coated them with Brembo's. 
There you go. That thing pristine, brother. Based off of what we talked about yesterday, we're gonna go with the modest build to start, but I'm shooting for like 500 out of the gate. Shooting? Shooting for 500. <laughs> and uh, then from there, I wanna keep evolving the build, and hopefully get it up to like 800 horsepower. But when I get there, it's, it's a lot of work, dude. You know how it goes. Yeah, yeah. I know it goes, the channel knows how it goes. And let's not forget, this is 500 and 800 horsepower, all wheel drive. So 500 horsepower, my 500 versus 500, it's gonna be yeah, it's gonna be tough one. But I, I'm trying. I'm, I'm gonna get him out of Irwindale. We'll have some fun with the cars. And he's actually going to do. He's not even like he's not gonna have the GTR and just have it sit here. Like he wants to actually have some fun with it. So that's gonna be pretty exciting. I do have more stuff gonna happen in the car too. I actually haven't told. I really haven't talked about my car. I showed my car a little bit in the intro, and then like I was like, we'll get back to that. <laughs> we'll get we'll get back to that. But I really didn't show too much about my car. But we are gonna wrap in the car. Premium will be doing that in a, a month or two or three or four. I don't know. I'm really undecisive on uh, the color, but I did send Daniel a I sick ass text message. The yesterday. army green. So the thing is, you've had your car wrapped army green already. You gonna do it again? Like two times, same color. Like you must have loved it. I do love it. So I need you guys' help, guys. Comment down below what color should we wrap it. I love I the army green. I'm not gonna lie. Put up a photo of the army green. Show them what it looks like. Cause it was dope. It was definitely sick. Um, but the thing is, you've already done it. So maybe That's it's time true. to switch it up. Maybe go with a, a, a gray, a matte gray, a matte black. Just go full stealth. All right. So comment down below. What color do you want to see the car? It's gonna be. Everything's gonna be changed. I'm talking about the full color of the car. We're powder coating the rims. Um, I think I want to do a little like you know change the color of some bolts too because it, that looks sick. But I don't know. We'll see. I'm just getting back into the whole car thing. But I know I do want to do some stuff. It's time for a change. Season three, right? All right, Daniel set up the tripod right now. There's a oh, wow. There's a lot of questions been asked of where I've been. My channel knows a little bit more than premium, but I have to remember that I'm not only you know part of my channel, I'm part of premium's channel. Right. So there's a lot of questions that went untold. And right now we're just gonna really just dig into it. So if you want to see the behind, oh, I'm gonna say behind. If you want to see other clips of this conversation, go to premiums, go subscribe, go watch it, go comment, go show love, and tell them to wrap my car. Let's start off with the biggest question because I got DM'd, I got emailed, I got everything. Did you oh. fire Hefe? You're a fucking <laughs> did, did asshole, you fire Daniel. Me? Did you fire Hefe? Did you fire me? No, of course I didn't. But the thing is, like, people keep asking. They're like, yeah. what happened, you know? It was so, like definitely like, untold. It was like untold, untold, untold story. My grandpa was diagnosed with, diagnosed with cancer and he they gave him six months to live. So like Right, it's like he's had cancer since like 95, 98. Okay. So, but they will go have surgery, come back, you know what I mean, stuff like yeah. that. But like that first, the first day after he said he had cancer, it was just downhill. And like the first week was like I thought he was passing away freaking any second. Right. You know. So I that. we, I, I remember came in here, we talked to everyone. I said it's getting, it's, it was like you know the first week was like really rough, and then I kind of like to mellow out. We're like okay, I think he's gonna be around for a couple months. And then it was just a downhill spiral. So I decided to literally stop making YouTube videos, stop filming for premium. Uh, I'm still working at premium, stop talking to everything, stop working on my car. And I stayed, I live with my grandparents, took, out, took care of my grandpa for 20, like basically me and Uncle Joe was like 24 hour service of me helping my grandpa do everything he needed to do and just sitting there just watching him pass away and to watch him like die every single day. And then to also worry about how am I gonna pay my bills? How am I? Like, I didn't even care. Like I told you, like I was right. like, let him take my car away, let him my credit go to crap. Like there was one focus, and I'm not not a like a smart financial focus, but for me to know that I did, took care of my grandpa every single second. So when he passed away, I had no no regrets. No, no regrets. And that's one thing that you told me. You're like I don't want you to have regrets. And if you're focused here. There's no way you're gonna focus over there. You guys are used to seeing me on my channel and on premium channel, uh, outgoing person, funny, just, you know, hopefully I'm not being cocky, but like that's how I no, feel I am, you know what I mean? My personality, you know, yeah, it was all over. It. They know who you are. And if I, when I was here, like, man, I was not myself. I was not, I, like, we, I, went, I, I got tickets to go to Cancun like six, seven months ago, bought for me and my girlfriend. We, we ended up going and I've never had a more miserable time on vacation. Like in general, like I was the, every single like minute, like how's grandpa doing, how's grandpa, right. you know what I mean? So like, I wasn't there. I mentally was not there. I couldn't make content. I couldn't film content. I couldn't be that person on this channel that is just likes to have a good time and you know, likes to make people laugh. I couldn't do that. So I don't want to, and how my personality bleeds of being happy. I don't want to bleed that sadness because I know you were getting a little upset. Like everyone here is we're all family here. So when one person is going through something, we may not know that person that, you know, is passing away, but we know our friends sad. We all felt we know our family members yeah, sad. It. So it's like I had I had to go. I literally had no choice but to leave and to drop everything. If it wasn't for 
the long talks I've had with Daniel, what I went through with my grandpa, I don't think I would have had the courage to start the business by myself and be running it as good as I've been running right now because I've been really blessed with being booked with so many different events over the last like what I've only really been filming again for like two months and I just yes, clients like crazy so. and it's been it's been a blessing and definitely premium will stay one of those and I will be here and uh, I didn't die guys I promise <laughs> I'm still, still here, here. Still but here. Uh, anyone that you know I mean has someone that has cancer or um, is taking care of someone that has cancer or someone that's going to hospice like man it's gonna be hard it's, it's hard it's hard and I'm I'm, you know, my name's El Jefe, but I'm kind of a softy, so it really, it really hits hard. So anyone that's going through stuff like that, I mean, stay strong and be there, be there for him every single day, every single second. Because man, my grandpa, they gave him six months, and he only lasted three and a half months, and that right there was just, it was so, so fast. Like you went one day, we're putting out five, six videos a week, and then you're like, what's wrong with you? And then gone. Then I was just, you know, packed up my stuff and it gone. was abrupt, man. It was, it was abrupt. so fast. And you know what though? There's one thing, and I have to thank everyone at Premium, especially Daniel, is that there was no regrets. And if I would, Danny would have been any other, like any other boss or any other owner, uh, he would have been mad that I had left because he's not has no ties to my family. You know, anyone else would have been like, oh well, you can't be here. Sorry, you're fired. I have someone to replace you. But he chose not to, and that's why. I came back and I have so much love and respect for premium and I know you guys see it. You guys see it. That's why you guys are subscribing. That's why you guys comment and like so much. This genuinely, this right here is the definition of a family. And I just want to say thank you for that, man. My boy. <laughs> I love you. Hi, got back to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got two vloggers in here. All right, guys, we just wrapped up like a 15 minute, not even say rant about everything. So I'm just going to take clips of that and it was Daniel's idea, and I want to thank him for that. So I want you to go to their channel and watch it whenever it's posted. Hopefully it's posted around the same time this is posted. But we'll find out. I think Daniel's looking at me like, yeah, shoot, as long as going to edit it, no problem. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, um, it's it. Season three is going to be good. I am going to chill here for a little bit, talk with them. I do have to head, head home and edit a vlog for premium and edit this vlog. Um, I think I've really touch bases on everything I want to touch bases on season three so I don't have to go back and talk about anything um, <laughs> bringing up the car fixing the diffuser fixing the front splitter fixing my race seat so we can actually go to a track day a big track like Willow Springs and wrap powder coated wheels and I think that the build's good the car's running good thank you guys so much hope you guys are excited for season three comment your favorite thing you've seen on this channel today I'll see you guys on Monday. No, Monday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday is when I post. Don't you do that to me. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'll be posting. Turn the post notifications on. I'll see you guys and welcome to season three.